Hello everyone. Hi, so, hello everyone. Okay. Hope you all are enjoying the uh, the the. Hope you are enjoying like the um, videos of my wife. So my wife. No, your mama will be okay. Okay. Yeah. So your mama and papa's wife. So uh, hope you all are enjoying the videos. You know, she's uh, keep on trying her level best to make it better and better. And again, your support and subscription is always. Encouraging her, so please uh, give her the feedback and make sure that you know, you'll be trying it, which is again very yummy and tasty. Always, you know, which we eat. So please, it's a kind request to all of you. Your feedback is very important, and please subscribe and put the bell button to get an updated videos whenever she upload. Thank you very much. Enjoy. So today, you know, uh, my wife, is, she's going to cook the mutton biryani basically, which is one of my favorites and uh, same for her as well. She also likes the mutton biryani, not the mutton biryani, all the biryani she likes. Basically, you know that she's from Philippines and I'm from India, Kerala, uh, south part of India. So we all like, you know, the one of the best, you know, I'm, I'm sure that you might know that Indians and uh, all the people, you know, they like the biryani. So please try Keep watching and I'm sure that you will enjoy and just take the details of whatever she cooks and thanks a lot for watching. Then here the ingredients. This is uh, one half kilo of mutton, then this uh, garlic, ginger and green chili then coriander leaves uh, then i mix together with mint leaves then two pieces of um, tomato then half kilo of onion then this is a uh, coriander powder then this is a uh, biryani powder then turmeric powder then i'm going to use this uh, biryani candy for ghee rice then I have this um, ghee. Then now I'm going to start. I'm going to put this mutton. The next is this onion, slice of onion. This is half kilo of onion. Then this is a um, green chili, garlic, and ginger piece. And I'm going to put this. Uh, this is two pieces of uh, tomato. And then mix. Then this is that coriander and mint leaves. I'm going to put um, this one two spoon of two teaspoon of salt then this is a coriander powder I'm going to put two three teaspoon one two three then this is uh, biryani powder. I'm going to put, uh, supposed to be this is we need to be balanced. I'm going to put 3 teaspoons of biryani powder. Then I have this. This is a uh, turmeric powder. I'm going to put some little only half teaspoon of. Um, turmeric powder half 
of uh, half slice of lemon. Now I'm going to squeeze. For mixing the biryani, I'm going to use my hand, but make sure your hand is clean. Now I'm going to mix all together. Then you need to mix properly, at least all that spices is going inside that mutton. Then now... After mixing that um, all everything in one big pot, now I'm going to close, then I'm going to keep in 10 to 20 minutes at least to marinate that mutton to make more delicious. That's it. Then now after 20 minutes, now I'm going to transfer in one pressure cooker. Now I'm going to use my hand. Then I'm going to go. Then you need to cook in a uh, five to uh, five to six whistle. Then mutton will be ready. This is one kilo of rice biryani. Now I'm going to wash. I put uh, some ghee to cook that biryani rice now i'm going to put that sliced onion this is one piece of uh, sliced onion then you need to cook that onion before you put that um then this is a close uh, papa then now that the onion is cooked, now I'm going to put that herb. This is bay leaves. This is a cinnamon and cloves and some cardamom. And this is uh, then you need to fry. Then I'm going to put the rice. Then you need to put some salt also for rice. At least we'll get some taste for that uh, rice for biryani. Then I'm going to cover in five, five to six minutes. After 2 to 3 minutes, now I'm going to put some hot water. This is hot water. You need to use hot water. At least that rice is not uh, soggy. This rice at least is not getting burning. Then you need to make sure that you will cook in very low temperature. At least that uh, rice is uh, cooked properly and it's not burning. Then this is the onion for garnish. Now I'm going to make a roasted. This, this is a uh, fried onion. Then this is rice and cashew. This I'm going to use for that uh, uh, this uh, garnish for mutton biryani. Then after 6 to 7 whistle, now our mutton is like this. Now we need to mix. Then this uh, mutton curry I'm going to transfer in one big pot because I'm going to mix with rice uh, 
biryani. Now I'm going to transfer. What is the oil? Yeah, it's okay. Put on. Then you need to mix. Then this is a. Then this is our rice. Now I, I cook in half, cook only because we need to cook together with that. Uh, this is rice. Then we need to transfer in another food, and we need to cook in together with this mutton curry. start you need to put slowly slowly and you need to spread that rice close at least once you put the rice, you need to put that garnish. This is a um, uh, fried onion. Put in the top. Then this is some uh, cashew nuts. And rice scents. Then you need to cover in 10 to 15 minutes. That's it. Then now you need to cook in 10 to 15 minutes. Then you need to cover and you need to cook. Make sure this is in low temperature. At least that rice is not getting burning. And after 5 minutes, I'm going to put some this one coriander leaves at least to get a nice aroma then the biryani is not perfect if without this um this is dead pickle then this is a yogurt with tomato and onion then this is coconut chamandi for the side dish of biryani now then our biryani is ready ready to serve then with together with dead pickle chamandi some dry um, nuts, cashew, rice, and yogurt.